Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Do you find that your camera or photo editor is producing soft images? Well, stick around because in this video, we're going to be teaching you a method to correct any low contrast soft image and turn them tack sharp. And that's with the high pass filter in Pixelmator Pro. So let's get right into this. But first, let's answer the question of what is the high pass filter in Pixelmator Pro's perspective. The high pass filter or high pass effect can be considered the opposite of the Gaussian blur effect. Instead of blending out the edges and details in an image, the high pass effect accentuates them, keeping any flat areas of an image solid gray. The high pass effect is often used for portrait retouching and is combined together with the overlay blend mode. But before we demonstrate how to use this, let's first answer the question, why not just use the sharpen tool in the color adjustments panel? Well, the sharpen tool works great. If used excessively, it may introduce unsightly sharpening artifacts, which include noise, and exaggerated texture. In this example, you can see that in the surface of the statue and building is the exaggerated texture and noise. If that's what you're getting, then you might want to try the high pass effect as an alternative. Next, how do you use it? We're going to be showing you two methods. The first is without effects layers, and the second is with effects layers. Both of them work great. But let's start off with the first method. First, duplicate the background image. Next, click Tools, click Effects, type High Pass on the dialog to search for it, and select it. Adjust the radius until you can see the details. Don't go too far or you're going to get large halos. Set the layers mode to linear light. Now that looks good. Unfortunately though, the operation still produced halos, so we have to get rid of it. To get rid of the halos, create a mask with a black paintbrush, brush over the edges, and that will get rid of the halos. Here is the before and the after. Now let's try the second method which uses effects layers and includes all the benefits thereof, such as the ability to make adjustments after the effect is applied. Click on Insert a Layer button. Add the high pass effect. Adjust the radius until you see the details you want to enhance. Duplicate the background layer. Group the top layer. Set the group's blend mode to linear light. Notice that the high pass effect is non-destructive so you can modify the radius anytime you like. Here is the before and the after. Now let's sharpen some other images in the same way as we did just now. So there you have it. As you can see, it's so easy with Pixelmator Pro 
to get tack sharp images with a high pass filter. Let me know if you use high pass filter in Pixelmator Pro to sharpen your own images or what other methods you use. I'd love to learn from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.